Today I'll be talking about fungal acne. Another term for it is acne that's caused by yeast such as malassezia or pitorosporin folliculitis. Well, oftentimes if the patient's not getting better and they've been on antibiotic treatment for acne, this is something you want to think about. Other risk factors include occlusion with skincare products such as emollients and sunscreen, and also um, patients with hyperhidrosis and conditions such as HIV are predisposed to this condition. Typically, it's a clinical diagnosis, but you can confirm it with laboratory testing. If you do a biopsy, for example, you can actually take a sample of a representative lesion. Clues could be that someone's just simply not getting better. Oftentimes, this is really trending among young patients. You typically want to use antifungals, uh, topical antifungals such as shampoos like ketoconazole or um, antifungal creams. That's not enough. Typically, an oral antifungal is considered, such as fluconazole or itraconazole. And sometimes in resistant cases, you can even use Accutane or isotretinoin. Unfortunately, fungal acne tends to come back. Sometimes you need to do a periodic treatment with the antifungals topically, intermittently to make sure it doesn't come back. If you have any further questions, do not hesitate to see me in person. You can always reach me online and schedule a virtual with me at Miami Durham.